Let's get more on our top story now. The decision by Swedish prosecutors to shelve a lengthy rape investigation against WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. Well, we can get reaction from Sweden because our correspondent Maddie Savage is in Stockholm there. And Maddie, what has been the reaction to this there? Well, journalists uh, gathered for that press conference earlier, uh, shocked really at this uh, final uh, conclusion to seven years of legal wranglings uh, that Swedish prosecutors saying that for now they are putting their investigation to one side because of legal technicalities, basically saying that uh, Julian Assange still refusing to come here to Sweden. Meanwhile, they think they've exhausted all other possibilities of, of questioning him or getting further help um, from the Ecuadorian authorities who are still holding him. Uh, in their embassy in London. Uh, so some initial shock. Uh, we have uh, been in contact uh, with one of the uh, alleged victims, a woman who says that Julian Assange raped her. She says he is still, in her mind, very much uh, guilty. Uh, and she said that uh, he's now lost the possibility to, to defend his name uh, and be found innocent. So she uh, says that uh, these allegations are going to stick to him uh, forever. Um, earlier, her lawyer also gave a statement to the media uh, saying that her client was shocked and calling it a scandal that a rapist could escape justice. I think uh, no immediate reaction uh, regarding um exactly how prosecutors have dealt with this case, uh, but certainly it has been going on for a very long time and questions will be asked about the time and money and uh, in the context of this eventual outcome, which hasn't resulted in either a prosecution uh, or Julian Assange uh, being found guilty or not guilty. Maddie Savage from Stockholm, thank you very much.